not had kids. I have, I have, I have experienced uh, parts of childbirth. I mean, I've never had an epidural, but I have had my legs numb. I flew here to coach. <laughs> So my comedy career has morphed and morphed and morphed. (laughs) Sure, there are comics who stay the same, with the same act, working the same clubs, over and over and over. But for me, things have really moved, from comedy clubs to corporate comedy to humor keynotes, and now to Zoom comedy and keynotes. And with every transition, it's been pretty different with its own set of learning curves. Zoom is no different. So how do we do this Zoom thing? or whatever platform you're using, because there are a lot of different platforms, not just Zoom. Well, I've got a couple tips that have helped me, and they can help you too, regardless if you're doing a comedy show or you're just speaking to your office mates. Here are a few things that have helped me out to get through all these Zoom events. First off, pretend it's a radio interview. When I was first approached about doing Zoom events, I was really nervous. I mean, how is my humor and message possibly going to translate to doing it in front of my computer? Then a friend of mine said, well, haven't you done a ton of radio interviews? I said, you're right. And there's no audience there either. So now I pretend it's a radio interview and I remember that there's a live audience out there somewhere. That really has helped me get my head around talking to my computer for an hour or more. Secondly, I pace myself as if people are laughing. I'm guessing they are. And anyway, I talk so fast, slowing down really can't hurt but I pretend I'm getting a really good response. I mean, I know my material works, and so I just let others enjoy it. Third, I look right at the camera on my laptop like it's a person. I don't do anything drastic, like put a picture of a person on there, though I guess that would also work. But for me, I just look at the computer camera and talk to it. Yeah, weird, but it works. (laughs) And fourth, I encourage interaction. During my keynote, I want people to get in the habit of using the chat box on the Zoom So I ask an easy question in the beginning that everyone will want to answer, like what's your favorite pet? That also gives me some stuff to joke around with when they put in a weird pet name. And then when people get the feeling that this is an interactive session, they aren't so shy about using the chat box. And finally, I stand. I get my energy from standing, so I stand up during all of my Zooms. And hey, it's stand-up comedy anyway, so regardless of the venue, I really should stand. The takeaway tip from this is, a quote I heard from actress and journalist Linda Ellerby many, many moons ago. You may not know her, but I remember a line she said about life. She said, keep your knees bent. She meant be ready for change and take advantage of it. And that's what I've done for my entire career. And it's really panned out well. That's it for this episode. Thanks for listening. Feel free to check out my website, theworklady.com. This is Jan. Take care and enjoy your journey.